Okay, so now I just want to go ahead and give you some other children's book recommendations, things that we've read, we're currently reading, that we really enjoy. So I'm going to start with the younger ages first. This is my absolute favorite book. I've had this for since my since Izzy was a baby, my oldest, my 11 year old. And it's Big Thoughts for Little People, ABCs to Help You Grow. And I would just ask my kids each day to pick a different letter. And the letter has like P is for polite, saying thank you and please. It's not hard to do and puts others at ease. There's some, some questions with the story and a Bible verse. Very cute book, super cute. And I have never been able to give this book up. I just, all my kids have really special memories with this. We love this book. The mother books for the littles are a little book of manners, courtesy and kindness for young ladies. This is really good for my girls and it just talks about, you know, please pass the sugar. I'm really glad you came. Thank you very much. You know, just things like that. Also now, these are also some of my most favorite books. I grew up reading these books, okay? They're the Joy Berry books, Help Me Be Good books. And so I have pretty much almost the whole series. I don't think I'm missing but a few. Um, this is like Breaking Promises and Fighting. So I read these as a child and they made a big impression on me. Um, they were my favorite growing up. And they're just really nicely illustrated and just talking about things like temper tantrums and whining and, and things like that. So I, I really like these. So starting to move up a bit is I love, of course, this is part of the Robinson curriculum. So it's obviously got like all the classics, the lion, the bear, and the fox. Let's see here. Um, the goose and the golden egg. I like the illustrations and I like how it's a nice big book. Okay, so now moving up in ages, these are part of the Robinson curriculum as well. Like the Tale of Jolly Robin, I've talked about these books before, Little Prudy. These are reprints. These are classic reprint series, the forgotten books, and these are excellent for kids. I like that the font is pretty big. It's a pretty good size. Perfect for that age still. Some other series or books to recommend is, you know, Izzy read the Bopsy Twins at school. These are other reprints as well. Now this one, the font is pretty small. But, you know, there's still, it still beats me binding my own books. <laughs> Little House in the Big Woods, you know, the Little House series books. These are really great to read. My girls especially love this. Um, if you're looking for something kind of like that, but maybe more boyish, is I recommend the Tom Swift books. Love these. I got this whole set for like $20 at a library one time. Um, and these are on the Robinson curriculum as well. And I think they're so great because they have a lot of science in them. This is um, Tom Swift and his rocket ship. Now they have a lot of science. Some of the other titles are, you know, Tom Swift and his electric retroscope or cosmic astronauts, visitor from planet X, um, megascope space prober, aquatic tracker, 3D to lejector. I've talked about these before. Also, some of the books that my daughter has read. These are The Tale of Solomon Owl and The Tale of Putty Mestra. So these are the author Scott Bailey books, Tuck Me In Tales. And I love the originals. They're super frail though. You gotta be so careful with them. But they're just really small chapters. It's like perfect bite size for every day or as they get older you could say you know do three chapters today four chapters today um same here they're just really easy to read we all you know my girls and love them just do uh ellie right now is reading daisy i talked about finding this at the goodwill bins it's got a nice big font on it a bigger size font and so she was reading the uh, life of george washington but it kind of became too much for her um izzy is still reading it it's kind of a little bit of a harder read so we took a break and we're letting her read this one instead for now and come back to that one later there is some i don't want to say controversy but some people feel like the george washington book in the robinson curriculum list is introduced too soon it's better later on and i i kind of have to agree with that 
with Izzy, I didn't follow the order exactly. I waited to do uh, Life of George Washington until just now, obviously. And she's doing great with it now versus I'm giving it to Ellie in the scope of the sequence and it's too soon for her. So that's just something to keep in mind. You don't have to be tied to the list if it seems like it's too hard for them. Maybe try the next book and you might think, well, this is easier than this book. <laughs> and then you can kind of put it off to later. Okay, and last but not least, I want to talk about another book series that my kids love and I recommend, and that is The Tuttle Twins. I love this series. I've talked about it so much before. I did a book club where we went through all these books and read them out loud and did um, worksheets and things like that. I love them so much that I became an affiliate, and so I do earn a little little small commission anytime I can sell a book or a set because and I only would do that with things that I really do believe in and appreciate and love and the Tuttle Twins for sure I do um, they talk about a lot of libertarian principles like free market and competition and resources and you know the golden rule was one that I liked too that one kind of had like a Ron Paul in it Ron Paul character um, food truck fiascos, how the government can hurt small businesses with some laws that they make. and It's really good. And if you wanted to take it a step further as parents, you can read kind of the, each book kind of goes off an older book, like The Law obviously went off the original The Law. And then, you know, they I think they threw in civil disobedience for like a two for one combo. But all the books will tell you what they were originally, um, inspired from and you can read that book okay so that's it for how to use the mcguffey readers in homeschooling using them with the robinson curriculum if you're doing that and also some other kid book recommendations and what we've read what we're reading and some of our favorites i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please give it a thumbs up